Welcome back to another episode of Security Academy. Today we are going to be talking about behavioral based detection, which is another algorithm used by antivirus software to detect threats. So in behavioral based detection, the system will watch and analyze a program execute its code, and the system will look out for any specific actions that the program may do. So in our scenario, the system will look out for these types of behaviors. And if the system or sorry, if the program executes any of these behaviors, uh, the system will label it as malicious. So for example, let's just say program A installs rootkits. So an attacker may use program A. And so program A will enter the system and the system will start to watch and analyze program A execute its code. And so because uh, program A installs rootkits, it will be labeled as malicious because the system is looking out for this type of behavior. So the system will quarantine it and take action against program A. Uh, so another example, let's just say this time that program B is non-malicious. So program B will enter the system. Again, the system will watch and analyze program B run its code. But since this time program B is non-malicious, it won't have any of these bad behaviors. So program B will successfully run its code and it won't be labeled as malicious. So one of the bad things about behavioral based detection is that it can lead to false positives. So for example, let's just say program C is an application that creates a file and it uses this file as an error log. So anytime the application encounters an error, it will write this error to, uh, to the error log. So program C enters the system the system will again watch and analyze the program C run its code. Uh, so program C will create the error log and write errors to it. Um, and so the system will see this and think it is malicious uh, because it falls under this category of creating and executing files. So the system will quarantine C and take action against it. So in summary, behavioral based detection looks at a program's behavior and depending on the way a program acts and the different actions it may perform, the program may be labeled as malicious by the system. So one of the positives of using this method is that it can help to uncover previously unknown threats. So for example, if an attacker decides to create a brand new attack or a brand new program and implement this program into the system, the system can still detect that it's malicious. So even though the system has never seen this new program before, uh, just based off how the new program is acting and the different actions it's performing, the system knows that it's malicious. Um, so one of the downsides of behavioral based detection is that it can lead to false positives. So on the previous slide, we saw that program C was non-malicious, yet it was still labeled as malicious by the system just because it was creating an error log. And this was one of the bad behaviors that the system was looking for. And so this leads to the question of how do we determine which behaviors are bad and which behaviors are good and how do we minimize uh, the number of false positives. So again, an overview of behavioral based detection is that a program will enter the system and the system will analyze and watch for the program's behaviors and the different actions it may do. And depending on these, uh, the system may take action against it.